I really do believe that that getting good financial habits, other kinds of habits too, but what I'm thinking about here is primarily financial habits. Getting those early in life is enormously important. I mean, Charlie and I were probably lucky that we grew up in households where we were getting all kinds of unspoken lessons even in terms of how to handle our life, but in particular how to handle finances. And not everybody gets that. And uh, Andy Hayward, uh, who did a terrific job with Liberty's Kids in teaching about the history of America three or four years ago, uh, has come up with this idea of the Secret Millionaires Club. And, and if we get through to 2 or 3 percent or 5 percent or whatever it may be of the kids in terms of giving them some ideas they might not otherwise have and they build some habits around it, you know, it isn't going to change the world, but it, 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 it can be a plus in their lives. It is, it is very important to get the financial habits. And really, you know, Charlie's a big fan and so am I of Ben Franklin's. And he was, he was teaching those habits a couple hundred years ago. So we're just going to try and take Ben Franklin's ideas and, and make them entertaining on, you know, for, for children's uh, uh, stories, in effect. Uh, and I, that's, I think that's about what you should be doing. I, I, don't, I don't think, I think it's much more important to have good learning at the elementary level that frankly, the habit of, at the uh, in terms of advanced degrees and uh, graduate schools, Charlie. Yeah, there are other great educational institutions in America that help handle this problem. One of the ones I admire most is is McDonald's. I had fun once at a major university when I said I thought McDonald's succeeded better as an educator than the people in the university did, and what I meant was McDonald's hires a lot of people who are quite marginal at the very start of their working career and they learn to show up on time for work and observe the discipline. A lot of them go on in employment to uh, much higher jobs and, and they've had an enormous constructive effect about educating into responsibility a lot of people who were threatened with not making it so I think we all owe a lot to the uh, employment culture of McDonald's, and it's not, uh, it's not enough appreciated. I learned a lot from a paper manager at the Washington Times Herald named John Daly. Yeah. You know, and probably 13 years old or 14 years old, and, and I was lucky to run into him. You know, basically, uh, my life would have been somewhat different you know, I, I, if I didn't get those lessons from a guy that was, taught him to me in a very enjoyable manner. He wasn't, a, he wasn't preaching him to me. He just, he just uh, told me I'd do better if I did this and that, and, and it works. So getting, you know, you're lucky if you got the parents to teach you that, but uh, anything that brings it into a broader teaching uh, environment, uh, I'm for. And like I said, I really think Andy has got a, a terrific project in this, and we'll see how it goes.